Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to this lecture on microcontroller graphics application. In this lecture, we will see about addressing mode of the 8051 microcontroller. Now, what is the addressing mode? Addressing mode is nothing but it's a way of accessing data by your microcontroller. In various ways, you know, your microcontroller can access different types of data in a different way. So, how your microcontroller accesses this data? The different ways of accessing or possible different possible ways of accessing data by a microcontroller is called as the addressing modes of this microcontroller. So as you can see, your microcontroller 8051 has immediate addressing mode, it has register addressing mode, direct addressing mode, register indirect addressing mode, and index addressing mode. So it has five of these addressing mode more widely, uh, five of these addressing mode. Um, so what is an immediate addressing mode? So as you know, an immediate addressing mode is a addressing mode where you send an immediate data to your microcontroller, microcontroller register. Now as you can see over here, the immediate in this mode, immediate addressing mode, your uh, hash is a symbol which is used to send an immediate data such as 20. So if you want to write this number 25, remember it is a number, it is not an address location, it is a number 25, if you want to write this number into a register like an accumulator or any of the register in the register bank, then you can use immediate addressing mode by using a symbol hash in front of the number. So whenever you represent a number by, re by representing a hash in front of it, it is an uh, immediate number. You can also load a 16-bit number similarly in data pointer register. Yes, so that's the possibility. So apart from uh, uh, your, your, your registers like accumulator and uh, register banks in the registers or even direct address location, you can send an immediate number. Okay, now the moment of the, uh, the next addressing mode is the register addressing mode. Register addressing mode is an addressing mode where you transfer data from one register to another register. For example, accumulator is a register, re one of the registers like R0, R1, R2, R3, R4 is a register in register bank. So you can transfer data between two registers like accumulator and R0 or R0 and uh, register uh, R5 and register uh, like accumulator or uh, from data, uh, data pointer to data pointer, not entire data pointer, DPH to uh, R7, you can transfer uh, you can transfer data between these two registers. One thing you need to be careful in this is you cannot transfer data between two registers like R4 and R7. You cannot transfer data like this. This is an invalid form of transaction. You cannot transfer data between two registers in a register bank. So it's not possible. So uh, that is one limitation. Otherwise, you can transfer data between any two different types of registers. Remember, two registers should have compatibility in their bit width. So if one 8-bit register, it, other register should also be 8-bit. Okay. You cannot transfer a data pointer's content directly to accumulator. You can transfer data pointer high or data pointer low's content because they are 8-bit, but data pointer as a whole is 16-bit. So th these are some limitations you should keep in mind. Okay, so direct addressing mode. In direct addressing mode, you literally move the content of an address location. That is, uh, for example, uh, as you can see over here, 40H. If you put a hash in front of 40H, it becomes an immediate data. You, you move a number itself to a register, but if you do not put a hash, that means 40 is an address location, is a memory location from where you take a data and move it to your register. So that is, this is one form of addressing mode. It is called as direct addressing mode. Now, the other type of addressing uh, uh, mode that you can use is called as register indirect addressing mode. In register indirect addressing mode, you move the content that is referred in a register. Okay, so ref the content in a register is actually a reference to an address location from where a data has to be fetched. Now, can it be done in the internal RAM? Yes, it can be done. It can be done in the internal RAM with two registers called R0 and R1 only. 
Arjun or R1 are the only two registers which can be used to move data like that. Okay. Uh, externally, uh, in externally, in data pointer or data using data pointer, you can access data in an external memory device, uh, RAM, uh, RAM, uh, external RAM device. So at that time, the data pointer register in your uh, in your microcontroller holds the address value, which is a reference to a memory location outside the microcontroller. So register, for example, if you have at R0, at is a symbol for indirect addressing mode. If you have an at notification, that means at R, that is at the register R0, you have a number which is actually reference to an address location from where you have to fetch the data and move it to accumulator. Is that clear? So at is actually a reference. It is not, R0's data will not be moved to accumulator. But R0 data will be referenced to a memory location from where the data has to be fetched and moved to accumulator. Okay. So um, uh, as you can see over here, R1 is having a number 60. So uh, when you uh, when you are moving R1's data, if I'm say if I say an instruction call MOV, MOV. Uh, I'm sorry for that bad handwriting. If I say MOV at R1, MOV at R1, comma, accumulator, after this, act, after this instruction, in, imagine, imagine. So uh, what it does it mean is 60 is an address location from where the data will be moved to accumulator, okay. So data will move from 60. 60 will be an address location somewhere in your internal RAM. So from that address location, the data will move to your accumulator, not the R1's data, not the R1's data. You understand? So this is how register indirect addressing mode works. Okay. So R0 and R1 are the only possible registers which you can use. You cannot use R2, R3, R4 with that at notification. Okay, and data pointer is the register which you can use for external memory location. Okay, so that is what is uh, register, register indirect addressing mode. Uh, the other addressing mode you have is index addressing mode. In index addressing mode, it is used to access data elements from lookup table. Okay, so a lookup table is used to rotate your maybe stepper motor or to do some complex operations like seven segment display. Uh, you use a lot of values which come in a sequence or in an array. So when you're accessing such a value, you have to use a lookup table and lookup, when you're using a lookup table, it is always preferable that you use index addressing mode. And in index addressing mode, as you can see over here, the notifications goes as move C and move C at accumulator plus data pointer. Means whatever data is an accumulator that is added with the content data pointer and the combined value forms an address from where the data is moved to accumulator. So this is the way of using addressing index addressing mode. So these are these were the various addressing modes which we uh, have seen. There are some examples which I have given over here which you can try to work it out. They are very simple examples and if you do these examples you would have finished revising this topic. Thank you.